Hello, my friends, I'm Natalia and welcome to today's episode. Happy fall! Even though as I live in Florida, we're not really experiencing too much of a fall, but so I try to cook a lot to um, get in the fall mood. So today we are going to cook a turkey. But here's the trick. I'm going to show you how to make a spatchcock or butterfly turkey and have a turkey on the table in under two hours. So I have a 15 pound turkey right here and I'm super excited to show you how to get this done. So there's a couple of tricks to this. Um, you will need a nice pair of uh, sharp kitchen shears and a cutting board and you have your roasting rack and the bird itself. So spatchcocking a turkey means the turkey that had its backbone cut out and then we kind of butterfly it and we put it on the pan and it cooks a lot faster. We are going to be cooking this turkey on a convection setting in the oven at 375 degrees. If you don't have a convection setting in your oven, then use a normal bake at still at 375. It just might take a little bit lo longer because with convection setting, the air gets circulated all the way around and it allows for the food to cook a little bit faster while maintaining the juiciness on the inside. Another little trick that we're gonna do is we will actually be putting the weight on top of the turkey to just really flatten it and just help it cook a little bit faster because today is all about speed because traditionally you don't wanna spend five or six hours in, the, you know, in your kitchen cooking this turkey. You wanna have fun, you wanna entertain. I mean, what would you do with an extra two, three, four hours? I bet you can find something. So, are you ready to get started? The first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to create a little rub or marinade for the turkey. And here's what we're gonna do. Leave some butter softened on the counter. So I have half a stick of butter here. It's going into this bowl. And then I have two tablespoons of each fresh thyme leaves that, that are, don't use the sticks because the, the stick itself, because it just, it doesn't, it gives it a little bit of a more of a bitter flavor. So we have thyme leaves, we have two tablespoons of chopped rosemary leaves as well. I have a quarter cup of mayonnaise. So you'll see how amazing this is going to be. I'm going to use two to three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna wing it right here. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And if you want, if you know, watch me, follow me, you know how much I love 21 seasoning salute mixture from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. Being that the entire flavor in, is gonna come into the turkey from this topping, we really wanna make it super flavorful. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this garlic press and I'm gonna put some garlic cloves in here and just press them out. One. I love this press. Got this one on Amazon. Don't even have to go far. Convenient delivery services that we have here. So I used about five or six garlic cloves for this. And now we're going to mix this and set it aside. And we are going to start working on our turkey. Before we get actually get to work on the turkey, I want to make sure to let you know that you are going to want to have the bird completely defrosted. So it's okay to have it sit in the fridge on the lower shelf for about three to four days before you start uh, cooking it. And even while you have the butter sitting out, you can even take a large pot and fill it with cold water and have the turkey sit in the pot. Just do you wanna make sure that every part is loosened up because the looser it is, the easier it'll be for us to manipulate it. Because as you can see, this, will, this is gonna get a little bit of tricky, but I'll show you a super easy way to do it and how to handle 
challenging situations that might come up with this turkey. So we are ready to get started and I'm excited, keep following along. All right, so we have our really nice young 15 pound turkey here. Got the wings. This is the backbone. So this is what we're going to be removing right here. This, this center part of the backbone when we're ready to cook is we're going to actually flip the bird, crack this front bone, and then the whole thing is gonna open up this way, okay? So I'm turning the bird back so the bird right now is laying on its breast. So here's what we do. You see this little tail? So you kind of get a feel for where the bone is. Taking out scissors. This is not gonna be like a, you know, cutting through paper. This is a little bit of challenging. And if we get to some really tough spots, I'll show you how we're gonna handle that. Like I said, if you get to a tough spot, don't, do not panic. I'll show you how we're gonna work through this. Okay, so we do it on one side, we do it on the other side. All right, you see these thigh bones are kind of hard to cut through. So we have this part cut up, so about halfway. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the turkey over and start working it from the neck bone and back down. You wanna make sure to buy this special kitchen shears or poultry shears and just keep working your way down. All right, and if it gets a little bit challenging, that's all right, I'll show you how we're gonna make, make this part connect. Oh yeah, nice, it's given. All right, so you see we have one side done, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we're going to turn it this way and work on this side of the neck. All right, almost there. All right, we just have, I feel like there's this one bone that is not given yet. Come on. All right, this is it's a little bit stuck. Let me see if I can, what I can do to give it. See, you don't give up, you just turn it over and keep trying to get this on the other side. There we go. This is the entire backbone removed. We are going to roast this as well because we're going to use this to make a soup. And now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it on the pan. But you see, it still is not coming down. So some people, you know, give it some compressions. What I do is I sit it up and I try to get in there with my knife. There we go. You see, you pull the breasts apart. And now, see how flat the bird is laying? This is what we want. This is a perfectly, beautifully butterfly turkey. In order to maintain a crispness in the skin, which is what we want, we want to really get rid of any potential moisture that the turkey has. So we just use the paper towels and pat it down. Now we take our marinade, which is, if you remember, butter, garlic, mayonnaise, olive oil, salt and pepper spices, and fresh rosemary and fresh thyme. Now we're gonna put it all over, and we're actually going to use our hands to really spread it all over the bird. And it's gonna be so, so delicious. I've been making these turkeys for the last couple of weeks and the smell is amazing. Now, growing up in Russia, we didn't celebrate Thanksgiving and it's, it's such an American holiday. So I didn't eat a lot of turkey as a, as a, as a kid, but being here, has, having lived in America for the last 20 years, I'm so, so grateful to get together with friends and say what we are grateful for. And, you know, practicing gratitude is a great, great thing, great practice, not only during Thanksgiving, but every day. So we have our amazing 
turkey and it's rubbed up and it's ready to go on the same pan. What we're going to do is we're going to put the same backbone on the same pan and let that roast there. I'm going to weigh this down. So I'm using this large cast iron weight to really help it cook faster. And off it goes in the oven. There we go. All right. We'll see you in an hour. Now now we're going to check the temperature. So we want the turkey to reach the internal temperature of 165 degrees. And it's been just at, we're at just two hours. So depending on the size of your turkey, this was a 15 pound turkey cooked in under two hours, which is unbelievable. So we have reached the temperature of 165 degrees. You are going to want to measure this at several different spots, at a breast and at a thigh. So whatever, there's the thickest part of the turkey, everywhere it reads 165. You don't want to cut into this right this moment. I recommend covering it with some tin foil and letting it rest so that all the juices can get redistributed on the inside. And this is gonna be beautiful, delicious, amazing turkey for your Thanksgiving dinner so that you can enjoy this with your friends and family. Um, check out the uh, pumpkin cheesecake recipe that we put out for Thanksgiving last year. I hope you love this. This is awesome to have a Thanksgiving turkey in under two hours. Great recipe, amazing presentation. You can put this on a beautiful platter, surround it with some fresh herbs and Beautiful, delicious, amazing. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. I'm full of gratitude for you and for my family. I am very grateful to have such supportive people in my life. I invite you to live a deliciously healthy life. Bye for now.